This morning's Coffee With is with Baltimore Blast head coach Danny Kelly. And Blast forward, Vinny Dantas. Vinny. Coach. How are you, Marty? Danny, welcome back to <laughs> WJZ in the Morning Edition. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So, I mean, I know that as a, as a coach, you're excited about the new facility. Player, excited about a new facility. Is it kind of like a, a rebirth, a breath of fresh air? I mean, you, you just win championship after championship or compete at the highest level to do that. Is something like a move to a new venue a good shakeup for the team? I think so. I mean, uh, you know, mixed emotions leaving uh, Royal Farms. Um, you know, we won eight championships playing out, out of that building. We've been there for 30 some odd years. Uh, a lot of good memories, but sometimes change is good. And uh, I'm really excited about the move to SACQ Arena. Um, it's going to be a, a, it's in a great location. It's going to be a very intimate atmosphere like we've experienced uh, down in Sonora, Mexico with the fans right on top of you. So I'm looking forward to feeding off the, uh, the electricity in the, in the stands off the crowd. Is it the same, basically the same size playing service as in Mexico? Uh, it will be similar. It will be similar from what I heard. But I, I'm asking that because, they, you know, it, it, just like Major League Baseball, not all arenas are uniform. And so you have to address the nuance of where you're playing. <laughs> So you're going to have to learn the new, the new nuances. So what are you telling guys like that? We telling the other guys. I think it's going to take us a little time to, to evolve into how we're going to play. But to be honest, I don't think it's going to be all that different. The, where we train Northeast Regional Rec Center is a smaller facility, smaller field. And I think that's what really benefited us in going down and, and winning the last two championships down in Mexico where we did play on a smaller field. So the game's a little bit more frenetic. There's not as much possession as I would uh, like because just the it's about the the nature of the the size of the field that prohibits that so uh, I think the game will be a little bit different but we're still looking to uh, put a championship team together and, and uh, we're looking forward to defending that uh, on our two consecutive championships Vinny what about you as a player same thing that you're excited about that intimacy the energy yeah I think uh, our arena the old arena was very big and we, we used to put a, a lot of people there. But I, I'm, I'm looking forward to fans being right there up on the field. Um, I think the likelihood of us selling out is very high, so that also brings a good, um, good energy for me. Interesting question. We know what fans on top of the game can be. Let's mm -hmm. just go to ACC basketball, Cameron Indoor Coliseum. When you have your fans there, What's it do for you guys? Or are you just so focused, you just don't even notice it? Seriously. Oh, I, think, I think it adds a little bit. Um, uh, let me rephrase that. I think it adds a lot, not just a little bit. Because, you know, there, though, there are times where you are in a game and you start a little sluggish. Or, and the fans being right there, they can, they can give you a little, come on, let's go. And, and that might fire you up. That might give you a, a little extra boost and get you going a little bit and um, I think that I think it's fair to say that they can impact the game. Wow. Gonna have season tickets available. If you go to the Blast website, uh, unfortunately I can't bring it up today. Um, you know where this is going next? The trash? <laughs> well I was actually gonna put it in the crease at the no arena and let your best fire soccer balls at it. <laughs> How many pieces we can bring home then? The, uh, there's uh, season tickets. I understand there's going to be a, a pick your seat day, uh, if, I, if I heard correctly. There's going to be some, because you got to start, I mean, Season season essentially is here. The guys are getting together starting tomorrow. Just a little, uh, you know, before uh, training camp, getting together, starting to play. Training camp will open, I think, either October 15th or 16th, right around there. And then uh, our home opener is tentatively set for November 10th, I believe. So it's it's, it's it's we're. I mean, I'm excited. I'm excited about uh, our new home. I'm excited about getting out there and, and uh, defending our, our championship. We you know that now. everybody. Uh, has to bring their A game if they're going to beat us. And that's the challenge. That's what motivates uh, the guys. That what's motiv What motivates me, uh, knowing you're getting everybody's best shot mm -hmm. every time we step on the floor. And can we, are we up to that challenge? Yeah, because you have to, at that point, always bring your A game plus. Cool. Thanks for having us, Marty. Yeah. Yeah. Marty. No, thank Thanks you. so much for being with us. All right, Dynamite, new digs, same attitude. Let's go out there and win number nine. Let's go. Out of sight.